In this presentation, we are going to discuss one problem based on sensitivity of control system. So let's get started. As shown in figure, a negative feedback system has an amplifier of gain 100 with plus minus 10% tolerance in forward path and an attenuator with gain 9 by 100 in the feedback path. This negative feedback system is given to us in which the input is RS, the output is CS, the forward path gain is 100 with a tolerance of plus minus 10% and the feedback path gain is 9 by 100. And we need to find out the overall gain. This is a multiple choice question and has been asked in Gate Electrical 2010. So now I want you all to pause this video and try this question on your own. I hope you are done. So moving on to the solution. Here we need to understand two different things. Number one, if the gain of any block is greater than one, then it can be called as an amplifier. And on the other hand, if the gain of any block is less than one, then it can be called as an attenuator. In this system, an amplifier with a gain 100 with a tolerance of plus minus 10% is present in the forward path and an attenuator of gain 9 by 100 is present in the feedback path. We can see we are having four different options and all the options are framed as overall gain with a tolerance. Overall gain with a tolerance. So firstly, we need to find out the overall transfer function of this system. And then after that, we will find out the overall tolerance of this system. We will use the sensitivity of overall transfer function with respect to forward path gain in order to find out the overall tolerance of this system. So moving on to the solution, the overall transfer function T is equal to G over 1 plus GH, where G is the forward path gain, which is equal to 100, and H is the feedback path gain, which is equal to 9 by 100. If we put these values, we will get T equal to 100 over 1 plus 9 by 100 multiplied with 100. This 100 and this 100 will get cancelled and we will get the overall transfer function equal to 10. So the overall transfer function of this circuit is equal to 10. And we can see in all the options, the overall transfer function is equal to 10. So now we need to find out the overall tolerance of the system. And we will use the concept of sensitivity of overall transfer function with respect to forward path gain to find out the overall tolerance of the system. So we have sensitivity of transfer function with respect to forward path gain G equal to percentage change in T over percentage change in G. This is the basic definition of sensitivity with respect to forward path gain and it is equal to 1 over 1 plus GH. We have derived this expression in the previous lectures. If we directly put the values, we will have 1 over 1 plus GH, value of G is 100 and value of H is 9 by 100. Again, 100 and 100 will get cancelled and we will get the sensitivity of transfer function with respect to forward path gain equal to 1 over 10. We are having the percentage change in G equal to 10% because it is given that forward path gain is having a tolerance of 10%. If we transpose this 10% to the right hand side, we will have percentage change in T equal to 10 over 10, which is equal to 1%. And in this way, we have calculated the overall tolerance of the system, which is equal to 1%. So now we can say the overall gain of the system is equal to 10 plus minus 1%, where 10 is the overall transfer function of the system and plus minus 1% is the overall tolerance of the system. We can see there is a deviation of 10% in the forward path gain, but due to negative feedback, the overall deviation decreased to 1%. And this is the advantage of negative feedback. So clearly we can see option A is the correct answer. And now we are done with this lecture. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this one here. See you in the next lecture.